Hi guys, Tank Davis with Bushcraft on Tracks. In this video I want to give an update on my chair and kind of show you a couple things I'm, I'm doing now and, and what I'm working with and uh, see where that goes. Mainly speaking with uh, carrying gear out and that kind of stuff. So stick around. Okay guys, one of the main issues I've had thus far in my chair, I've had it for two years now, is figuring out how to attach a backpack or any kind of pack of any sort um, just to bring gear out into the woods. I'm not looking to do you know any week-long treks or anything like that just because due to the, the chair's ca capability of going long range and that kind of stuff so that's kind of out of the question at the moment and I'm not looking for that anyway um, but what I was looking for was something to be modular in a way that I could pack it for an overnight if I wanted to now that I have the ability to, uh, the woods are so close to my house that I can just come out, spend the night at my camp, uh, and I won't have to charge my chair back up because it doesn't have to travel very far. So I wanted something where I can maybe pack an overnight or just a scout, you know, traveling around looking for resources and things of that nature. And I've had a lot of issues trying to figure out the best way to do that. I've tried a lot of different things. Excuse me, there's a tick falling on my chair. Sorry about that. I've had a lot of different options I've tried and attaching packs different way or another, but this is the best, I mean, absolute best I've come across so far. I think I finally found the ticket here. And I want to show you what, you, what I got. Basically, um, the base of the foundation of this system is just a bull pack frame. Uh, this year at the Pathfinder Gathering, I got to meet Janice, who's the mother of the guy that basically builds these and designs these and she came down and uh, I got to spend some wonderful time with her and got a uh, bull pack from them and uh, she wanted me to try it out let her know how it works with the chair see if we couldn't market these some ways uh, for this type of chair and it's actually worked out great I thought I was gonna have to build some type of adapter or whatever but I'll get into that and I'll show you that a little more close but basically what I've got going on here is these horns on the pack really allow you to do so much I've just got uh, my canteen kit with my uh, paracord sling from the paracord guy just slung over that um, so it's quick easy access to my water and my, my meal kit I'm gonna toss that down there and uh, I've got a this just happens to be a rush 24 511 backpack it's actually the first time I've had it on here just trying it out for maybe an overnight it's really big there's actually not very much in it it's just a big bulky pack but what I did like about it if I chose to this pack for an overnight or something then I still have the ability to use a hydration bladder which I know a lot of people don't like but I'll talk about that later on uh, in a different video my thought process behind that uh, but it is the easiest option for me to access water in my chair without having to get up and get down or reach back and it's not as easy as carrying a canteen over like for instance the paracord parasling uh, like some people so uh, hydration bladder is key for for me being in the chair plus it allows me to carry a lot of water um, obviously so the pack is really just sitting oh excuse me I had the sternum strap buckled here so it didn't pop off. So if I undo the sternum strap on the 511 backpack, I can just lift the pack up. All that water in there is pretty heavy. Set it off to the side. And all I did was have it sitting on there resting over these horns. And uh, I can show you get some close up of these shots but there's some uh, metal hooks built onto the side of the frame and uh, those are for lashing down things as you can see I have a uh, just kind of a ratchet strap of sorts here with a uh, 3 8 cord and on the bottom I have just a regular military butt pack that just sits right there perfectly I can keep a central kit in it I can pretty much pack a 10 piece kit in this thing and I'm ready to roll and I have an empty frame for doing whatever I need to do when I'm out in the woods it just uh, it allows me to pack my essentials so I can go light on a scout and then everything else I can just anything else I want to add camera gear whatnot bedroll I can attach straight to the top the bedroll also will fit right here behind the uh, headrest 
and um, I got up against these horns and I'm gonna play around with that I actually haven't put a bedroll or anything on it yet or sleeping bag so we'll see how that goes but as you can see this is I'm rocking the whole chair here this is really solid system it's on here I thought I was gonna have to build some type of mounts or something to better fit the chair the first couple times I put it on there but it's actually really worked out all I used was the existing stuff that you I basically strapped it to the chair just like you'd strap it to your back uh, I fed the the uh, chest the shoulder pads over through the back side of the chair there's a back rail that the chair is attached to I'll try to get you a shot of that and buckled them in and then I took the waist strap and wrapped it around the back side of the uh, or excuse me the front side of the pad the back pad and locked that in and then just cinched everything up against it there's a bar here that goes around the back side of the chair and it's cinched up against that on the frame so it's really solid I plan on doing a full review on this pack frame after I put it through its paces and try some stuff out but I just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm carrying my packs uh, into the woods with me and I've only had it for what two weeks now maybe a week and a half but it's stayed on my chair ever since and it's this is definitely going to be a permanent piece of kit that's just going to stay on my chair it's bulletproof um, I don't know if you can do it with not uh, with how it's attached I'm going to say you can put someone sit to have it someone sit there but I know at the Pathfinder gathering uh, Brandon Elkins hopped on Chris Wick's back. Chris Wick put one of these on and he sat on that and there's pictures online of him carrying them around. I'll see if I can't uh, snag one of those and put it on the video for you. But uh, these frames are just bulletproof. They're every bit worth the money. Yeah, they are kind of pricey. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking for a bulletproof modular system, you can do the same thing with these um, frames that you can do with the Alice Pack frames and way way more um, they're just bomb proof so again this isn't really a review of this I've got to uh, test it out some more put those paces but I just wanted you to get an update video on where we are with how I'm uh, carrying my gear into the woods so thanks guys I appreciate all your views and support please you know feel free to share the videos show people that uh, there are other handicapped people out there getting around in the woods and you don't have to sit inside on the couch you know playing video games and eating potato chips all the time you can get outside and get outdoors work some of this belly off which I'm still working on but hey at least you know I'm trying so alright guys thanks for everything